there's over 500 billion cups of coffee drank every year in the world, which means if you translate that, it's over 16,000 cups per second. The greatest touch point to the actual producers, the farmers of coffee, would be to produce a machine, right? Produce some kind of device that can analyze the coffee at the point when it immediately gets harvested. We've created an application where you can find the nearest purchasing center, right, which would be the machine. Once you put the cherries in, they get processed through an imaging system that can analyze every single cherry. So we take images of the cherries both from the top and as they fall through our imaging system with two cameras to get a complete 360 degree view of the cherry itself. And from that, we're able to determine the consistency, the size and the size consistency. With that data, we're able to use artificial intelligence to determine the actual volume of the cherry. And then we collect the cherries and then we give the feedback immediately to the farmer. So the farmer would have on their app, they would say, you, you deposited 15 kilograms, for example, of cherries. This will be your payment for that. And then if they agree, they hit a button on their application and the machine collects it and pays them immediately. In these commodity supply chains, the payment has always been delayed. So payment now through digital means can mean that the producers of the coffee can get paid for the exact quality in real time. We use blockchain for two things. First one is to make the digital payment to the end consumer and to trace all the payments that are happening, whether they be to the farmer, the owner of the machine, to the bank, any type of payment that needs to happen, we use the blockchain to make those payments. The second thing that we use the blockchain for is to it's provide that immutable chain of events of where the, where the coffee was from. Once the cherries get collected at the collection point, we then use our simple RFID tracking to track those cherries all the way through the washing station and then through export. And then from export through the roasting process all the way to the end consumer. And there's also data collected from cupping and from obviously from the retail side. What we're trying to do with BEX360 is kind of combine those two things together. I think what people are seeing in BEX360 is that we're really trying to provide them data to help them make a better conscious choice about how they interface with the world. And a lot of people have this disconnect, they don't even know where their coffee came from, they don't know how it's sourced, but now they're starting to realize that the impact coffee or other commodities and farming practices around the world can have on global warming, that it's no longer a separation between buying a cup of coffee in Palo Alto and the impact it has on the forest in Africa, is that that, that impact it has on the forest in Africa now affects life in Palo Alto. So the world's becoming more connected just through general internet and, and just the way we interface with each other, but there's not a lot known about how your conscious choices affect the areas in which these commodities are grown. As we develop this business is that we'll learn more and more about how we can increase the transparency to these key commodity changes. So we see Bex starting in coffee obviously, but then later going to things like cocoa, nuts, and also I think the fishing industry is a very important industry that needs the same type of traceability that the coffee business needs. What we built today is our prototype machine. Over the next two or three months, we're gonna be building our beta machines, which is the machines we'll take into the field. And the machines themselves, as we collect more and more data, we'll be able to improve our artificial intelligence algorithms and our vision systems over the next six months so we can more accurately train and test those, those algorithms to ensure that we really are collecting the right data and, and, and providing that feedback to the farmer and, and the supply chain. Mm -hmm.